Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. I've been doing my weekly devotions around the theme of the candles we light on our Advent wreath. The first week, we lit the candle of hope and reminded ourselves that even in the midst of the pandemic, we are people of hope because God is with us. Last week, we lit the candle of peace, and we reminded ourselves that, you know what, even in this time of uncertainty, we have peace knowing that we are God's, that he chose us, that he loves us, protects us, and walks with us. We choose not to focus on our problems, but on the Prince of Peace, whose birth we're about to celebrate. Today, we want to look at the third candle, the candle of love. It immediately made me think of the wonderful carol, Love Came Down at Christmas. This carol is really a poem that was written in 1885 by Christiana Rossetti. The, verse, the first verse says, Love came down at Christmas, love all lovely, love divine. Love was born at Christmas, Stars and angels gave the sign. The words remind us of even more familiar words from the Gospel of John. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. As Christians, we are so familiar with the story that we often fail to sense its power. We must never lose the power of love that indeed came down at Christmas. And when you start to think about it, there was a lot of love at Jesus' birth on that night so long ago. How can we look even at the, for a moment at the nativity scene and not see Mary's love for Jesus? There is nothing like a mother's love. Even in this case, even in the case that you are, the mother of God's only son. How can we look at our nativity scene and not see Joseph's love for Mary? In spite of his initial inclinations, he took Mary for his wife. In spite of all the whisperings around town, he remained steadfast. In spite of all the unanswered questions on how this could even be, he took on his role faithfully. Joseph loves Mary and he, most importantly, is there for her. We see the love of a husband for his wife, a great and honoring love. Most of all, we see God's love. It is God who started all this and sent his son into the world. God gave us the most precious gift of all because of his love. Love. God's love. It's much different than our idea of love. Love, the commitment, not, not the emotion, is what is symbolized in the love that came down at Christmas. You know what, my friends? Love is that supreme quality of God. Remember these words from 1 John 4, verses 8 through 10? Whoever does not love God does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might love through him. In this is love, not that we love God, but he, that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. We see God's love with skin on it. I've used this phrase many times as a pastor, but never more fitting than at Christmas. Jesus came to earth to put skin on love, to show us the depth of God's love and show us how to love one another. That love is sacrificial and is the gold standard by which we all know what love should look like. Finally, you and I are now God's love with skin on it. You and I are ambassadors of Christ that are called to carry Christ's love to the world, to show the world what God's love looks like. We read these words in John 15, 12, and 13. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. 
No one has greater love than this. Lay down one's life for one's friend. May folks look at us and find us to be bearers of God's love with skin on it. Yes, my friends, love did come down at Christmas. And love was all around that manger so long ago. I close this meditation with the third verse of this lovely carol. Love shall be your token. Love be yours and love be mine. Love to God and all men. Love for plea and gift and sign. Amen. I have several announcements about Wesley Church and upcoming activities. We did need to adjust our plans for Christmas Eve since we have suspended in-person services. Instead of three services, we will live stream just one service on Christmas Eve at 7 p.m. This service will be on both Facebook and YouTube. Wesley has committed to filling the mobile mission van in cooperation with Do Over Ministries. We are collecting coats, sleeping bags, thermal underwear, flashlights, batteries, hats, gloves, and backpacks that will be distributed on January 1st. These items can be brought to the church during office hours, Tuesday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. or on Sunday morning. You can see the bulletin for further details. The January-February issue of The Upper Room are now available at the church uh, and are in the lobby. Stop by and pick up your copy. And we continue to live stream our service uh, every Sunday at 9 a.m. on both Facebook and YouTube. Well, my friends, it's been good visiting with you. Let's close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you so very much that your story at Christmas reminds us just how much you love us. And when we look closely, we see love all around that manger. Help us to be people that continue to tell the story and to show your love in our lives. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk soon again. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.